was an awesome moment uh, getting in the spacecraft. I watched the nice orange sunrise come up and the waves coming in. It was a moment I wanted to remember. Ignition sequence start. All of a sudden, no longer were we bolted to the ground, but we felt a little bit of a swaying. Now, I thought it was very, very smooth. I remember seeing Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon when I was six years old, and I was hooked from that time forward. And, and I've been here at this Kennedy Space Center a number of times over the years. I always get uh, a thrill coming here, whether there's a launch or anything, but uh, this is neat to come here and see actually history. It really is a big deal to me, because like I say, it, it, it changed my life, and uh, you know, changed the course of my life. And uh, now my daughter's very interested in science as well, too, and she's caught the bug, and uh, I'm just here to help uh, promote that. Tell us about your shirt. <laughs> well, I mean, it literally, like, space up and with the stars and everything. I think that's my future. I've been planning since I was six to go to Mars, and I really like it. We just felt really comfortable, and, and I think that's from the experience that we drew on from the guys that had gone before us. Uh, so we knew we weren't going to sink out of sight in the lunar dust, and we knew that the car was going to work, and uh, so we just made ourselves at home and uh, uh, recognized our landing site and just had fun for uh, 71 hours. The excitement of going where humans have never been before, and keeping your eye on the target and on the checklist, doing all the things you have to do. So you're there and you get the job done. We are thrilled to have these extraordinary space artifacts, memorabilia, and pieces of American history preserved so beautifully here at the visitor complex for all of our guests from around the world to enjoy.